وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله صلى الله تعالى عليك وسلم إن شاء الله today we shall be listening to our own children the younger ones in شاء الله today showcasing their talent okay إن شاء الله Kirat, speeches, nuts. Hopefully, inshallah, we will get more to kifin to stand up and say a few words to share the experience of our etika with the younger ones to inspire them and others, inshallah. Uh, before we start, inshallah, I'm going to finish off um, what we started on Monday, talking about a beautiful story of Sayyidina Suleyman alayhi salam and Bilqis radiallahu ta'ala anha. And those who attended, if you remember yesterday, we talked about Sayyidina Asif ibn Barakhiyah radiallahu ta'ala an, a saint of Allah, a wali of Allah, a great alim. Used to be some ulama, they say he was the minister, wazir of Sayyidina Suleyman alayhi salam. So, Sayyidina Suleyman alayhi salam, he requested his people, the jinn, everyone, the attendees, to bring him the arsh, the throne. So the jinn, he was called Ifrit, he, was an, he said, I'm going to bring it within a few hours. But then this wali of Allah subhanahu wa said, I'm going to bring it, okay, even before the blink of an eye, that quick. Now what happened, the throne came, and he was in front of Suleyman alayhi salam. He thanked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you remember on Manna I told you, Bilqis, Bilqis's mother was what? Was a jinn. Okay? Now she knew the secrets of jinns. Now when the jinns heard that Bilqis is coming to meet Suleyman alayhi salam, and there's a possibility that Suleyman may propose to her and he would marry her. And the jinns feared that if she now would propose to Suleyman she would inform their secrets. So the jinn said to Suleyman she's not very intelligent. Okay? You know, so don't be so surprised if she's not intelligent. Now to test her intelligence, what did Suleyman say? Qala bismillah shaitan rajim. So Suleyman ordered the jinns. Qala nakkiru laha arshaha. Change the appearance of the throne. So remove some pearls, change the color, the texture, whatever it is. Change the appearance of the arsh. Nanzur atahtadi am takuna min al ladina la yahtadu. So we can see whether she gets it right, she, she recognizes the throne, or that she remains misguided. When she came, she came with a huge army from Yemen to Baytul Muqaddas. Yes. So she accepted Islam. Say subhanAllah. And then Sulaiman al-Islam told her, come. And took her and the men inside the palace of Baytul Muqaddas. She was astonished and surprised to see the massive 80 feet tall arsh, her own throne from Yemen, came to Baytul Muqaddas before her. So Suleyman salam asked, ahakada Is this like your throne? Is this your throne? Qalat ka'annahu hu. As if, as if it is the same, it is the same one. وَأُوتِينَ الْعِلْمَ مِنْ قَبْلِهَا وَكُنَّا مُسْلِمِينَ And then she said, we were given knowledge before this and we have already submitted and we have become Muslims. And now what happened? Sulaiman so again wanted to convince her that he is a prophet of Allah, wanted to show her, you know, his power and his greatness. وَصَدَّهَا مَا كَانَ تَعْبُدُ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ And she stopped. All that which she used to worship besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In any case, she told her from worshipping the sun. 
إِنَّهَا كَانَتْ مِنْ قَوْمٍ كَافِرِينَ Because undoubtedly she was from the disbelieving people, from the kuffar. And but she did tawbah. And then Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam told her to go to the courtyard, which was made out of glass. It was polished. The jinns polished it. Clean. قِيلَ لَهَا أُدُخِلِ السَّرَحِ so Sulaiman alayhi salam said to Bilqis and the men enter the courtyard. فَلَمَّا رَعُوتْهُ حَسِبَتْهُ لُجَّةً وَقَشَفَتْ عَنْ سَاقَيْهَا When she entered, because it met of glass and the sun came in, and the sun rays illuminated the entire courtyard. She thought it was لُجَّةً. لُجَّةً means deep water. She thought there's water on the floor. It was that shiny. Yeah? So what happened? She, she lifted her uh, dress that the feet were became visible. Meaning, she was trying. She thought it was water. Okay, and to protect her clothes, okay, she lifted her uh, her dress. So Sulaiman alayhi then said, "Innahu sarhun mumaradun min qawarir." It is a very polished. And shine courtyard made out of kawari glass. Okay, so you don't need to lift your dress. She un understood. Okay, Allah Akbar. The greatest Sulaiman Ali Salam called, and then she said, "Rabbi inni dalam tu nafsi. Oh Allah, I have wronged upon myself. Wa aslam tu ma Sulaiman billahi Rabbil alamin. And I have accepted Islam or submitted myself." With Sulaiman alayhi salam to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Lord of the entire world. Okay. So this is now the, uh, at the end, the Mufasun that I mentioned that um, in one narration, Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam proposed to her and uh, she married him, Sayyidina Sulaiman alayhi salam. And some narration is that she requested she wanted to marry a relative of hers, Rutubba. Uh, okay, so she got married to Rutubba and then they moved back to uh, Yemen and they lived here and then they passed away. Sayyidina Sulaiman ascended the throne. So Sayyidina Dawud when he passed away, then Sulaiman became the king at the age of 13. How many of you are age 13? SubhanAllah. Imagine being a king at the age of 13. I want donuts every day. Okay. And at the age of, he passed away at the age of 53 in one narration. So he approximately ruled for 40 years. And he passed away 575 years after Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam. 575 years after uh, uh, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam and then after Bilqis radiallahu ta'ala anha. And her, according to narration, narration, if it's Sulaiman alayhi salam, then after Sulaiman alayhi salam, or after Dhu Tuba, she passed away in Yemen. Radiallahu ta'ala. Say subhanallah. MashaAllah. Come, let's pray to the Shifa. Allahumma, salli ala Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammadin adada ma fi ilmillahi. صلاة دائمة بدوام ملك الله صلى الله تعالى عليك وسلم. So I've been given nine names. Uh, إن شاء الله we'll be going to participate um, because of the names. Um, ما شاء الله we've got nine gifts for you all. إن شاء الله. But obviously the ajar is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The reward is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But obviously, you know, you're young. Yeah, I want that gun. I'm going to shoot my brother. Yeah. Uh, obviously, you have to be careful. It's only um, the amount of plastics. So it won't do much damage to your brother's buttons. When I'm trying to target. Okay, anyway, inshallah. So we have, um, mashallah, some doing kirat. Some doing Nati Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Uh, some will be doing speeches, inshallah. Uh, is Muhammad Ahmad Naguri here? 
Yeah, he's there, inshallah. That's fine, inshallah. We'll begin our mehfil, mehfilinat, children's assembly, whatever you want to call it, with the recitation of the Quran. We've got a few bills, inshallah. Uh, we'll be doing Kirat, inshallah. So, inshallah, we'll begin with Muhammad Ahmad Nagur, age 9, inshallah. He'll come up and he'll recite the few verses of the Holy Quran. And all of you, there's a possibility today might be the last day of Ramadan. There's a possibility. I'm not announcing anything at this moment, okay? But inshallah, we're going to increase our dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, takbir, risal, everything inshallah together, and you know, read the rewards of the month of Ramadan. So, nare takbir. Oh, come on, you've been recorded. Okay? So, loud and clear, inshallah. Let the walls echo with the takbir. Nare takbir. Nare risalat. Masjid e Moil Islam. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناهم ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوكنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون لا إن الذين كفروا سواء عليهم أعذرتهم أعذرتهم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون ختم الله على قلوبهم وعلى سمهم وعلى بصارهم غشاوة ولهم عذاب عظيم ومن الناس من يقول آمنا بالله وباليوم الآخر وما هم بمؤمنين يخادف يخادعون الله والذين آمنوا وما يخضعون إلا أنفسهم وما يشعرون في قلوبهم مرض فزادهم الله مرضا ولهم عذاب أليم بما كانوا يكذبون وإذا قيل لهم لا تفسدوا في الأرض قالوا إنما نحن مفلحون ألا إنهم هم المفسدون ولكن لا يشعرون صدق الله العظيم Excited, mashallah. Take one of these, yeah. And do, inshallah. Say Subhanallah, mashallah. Muhammad Ahmad, Subhanallah, reciting. Are you in the hips class? Mashallah, you can tell, mashallah, Allah Taala, make him a complete hafiz Quran, alim Quran, amil Quran, mubalig of Quran, inshallah. Subhanallah. So we sat in the first few verses of Surah Al-Baqarah. And talking about jinns, we've been talking about jinns a lot the last couple of days. Do you feel what you sense? Subhanallah. Invisible beings are the presence in your, in your, um, Inshallah, take inshallah. Open high and take inshallah. Salah. So, um, so if you were to recite uh, Surah Al-Baqarah in your houses, inshallah, even if you move to your new house, okay, read Surah Al-Baqarah loudly, inshallah. If there is anything that is harmful for you, uh, for the household, inshallah, it will be dispersed by the uh, the Surah Surah Al-Baqarah, inshallah. Now we'll have a Natu Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. And for that, insha'Allah, I would like to call uh, Ibrahim ibn Haj Inayat. Adam, insha'Allah, will come and recite not in the court of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala. He said, Nare takbir! Nare risalat! MashaAllah. صلى الله عليك يا رسول الله 
وسلم عليك يا حبيب الله بريلتي فهنا عزك سجر مرحي ته بريلتي فهنا عزك سجر مرحي ته مرحي حضور اور میں چشت مر میں رہتے ہیں ہماری دل میں ہمارے جگر میں رہتے ہیں انہی کے گر ہے یہ وہ اپنے گر میں رہتے ہیں پریلتی فہے نازوں کے سگر میں رہتے ہیں بریلتی فہے نازوں کے سگر میں رہتے ہیں سبحان اللہ ماشاء اللہ سو اندر ون فور یو Inshallah, and also not only for these are there all of you. Inshallah, at the end, there's going to be a, a gift bag. Inshallah, uh, please uh, take one. Inshallah, Subhanallah. Say, say Subhanallah. Alhamdulillah. If you want a tree in Jannah, say Subhanallah, and to say Subhanallah hundred times a day. Subhanallah, 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 hundred times a day. You get the thawab of one. You must be thinking so much. It is. One hundred Hajj. Yeah, there's a Hadith. Okay. So when I heard this, is it true? Then I went and mashallah, there's a beautiful Hadith. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whosoever recites, subhanallah, hundred times, we will get the reward of performing a hundred Hajj. Okay, be subhanallah, you get Subhanallah. Right. What goes up never comes down. I say, SubhanAllah, your age. But, okay, if you are post 33, like Brother Usman, inshallah, when you enter Jannah, your age will come to 33. I mean, you look, look like 33. It's a peak of youth, as they say. SubhanAllah. Right. Now, inshallah, we'll have another Nati Rasul, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Um, uh, Muhammad Kilidar, inshallah, will come, inshallah, and recite Nati Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Nare takbir, nare risalat. And how many Jews have you done? 14, inshallah. He's becoming half his, inshallah. Uh, you doing kira? Okay, I'm sorry, you doing kira, inshallah. Muhammad Kilidar, inshallah, was also one of the students of uh, Hibs class, inshallah. Done half really uh, memorized the Quran, inshallah. Another one, yeah, inshallah. Inshallah, yeah. Six months. That's your challenge, inshallah. Yeah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Wa idha akhad rabbuka min bani adam min dhuri. وأشهدهم على أنفسهم ألست بربكم قالوا بلى شهدنا أن تقولوا يوم القيامة إنا إنا كنا عن هذا غافلين أتقولوا إنما أشرك أنا من قبل وكنا ذرية من بعدهم أفتهلكون بما فعل المبتنون وكذلك نفصل الآيات ولعلهم يرجعون واتلوا عليهم نبا الذي آتينا وآياتنا فانسلق فانسلق منها فاتبعوا الشيطان فكان ما غابين ولو شئنا لرفعناه بها ولكنه أقلد إلى الأرض واتبعوا فمثله كمثل الكلب يزحمل عليه يلهث أو تتركه يلهث ذلك مثل القوم الذين كذبوا بآياتنا 
فخصوص الكاس سنعلم يتفكرون ساء مثلا للقوم الذين كذبوا بآياتنا وأنفسهم كانوا يظلمون من يهدي الله فهو المهتدي ومن يدل فأولئك الخاسرون ولقد ذرأنا لجنم كثيرا من الجن والإنس لهم قلوب لا يفقهون بها ولهم عين لا يبصرون بها ولهم آذان لا يسمعون بها أولئك كالأنعام بل هم أضل أولئك ما غافلون ولله الأسماء الحسنى فادعوا بها وذروا الذين يلهدون في أسمائه سيرزون ما كانوا يعملون وممن خلقنا أمة يهجون بالعق وبه يعدلون صدق الله العظيم Subhanallah, mashallah, jazakallah. Beautifully recited. Um, uh, Tilawat al Quran by Muhammad Kiridar Allah Ta'ala. Accept his recitation. Make him again all those students who are in his class, Alim class, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them uh, pious. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them role models for the next generation, inshallah. Subhanallah. Right. What goes up never comes down. Islamically, your good deeds. Yeah? And I remembered, talk about Sadaqatul Fitr. Okay, we are zakat to get the money, but Sadaqatul Fitr is also a good thing. As we mentioned, that, do you know, with all the ibadah, especially fasts, okay, on the 30th of Ramadan, they are raised towards the arsh of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But, if you do not give out Sadqatul Fitr when it's wajib upon you, it remains hanging. It won't go up. Yes? So if you want your fasts, your siyam, your rose to be accepted in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, okay, make sure, especially the parents, they give out, they give out at least four pounds per head. Okay? And also on behalf of children. Even if it's a baby, two months old, okay, you have to give uh, al-fitr on behalf of the children, inshallah. And try to give it. Uh, you can give it any time before uh, Eid, even before Ramadan, during Ramadan, now. It's better to give it before uh, Eid. But as soon as you pray the Eid, then it becomes wajib. Okay? And it remains wajib throughout your life. Okay? So your fast is still hanging. So if, for example, after 20 years, you remember, oh, 20 years ago, I forgot to give my al-fitr, you give al fitr Okay? And it will be accepted in court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right, inshallah, we'll have an Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Uh, for that, I would like to call Muhammad Yusuf, inshallah, will come and recite not in court of Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Nare takbir. Nare risalat. Masjidai moinum islam. Subhanahu. मेरे आका मदीने बुला लीजिए मेरे आका मदीने बुला लीजिए सहार चाहे सरकार ज़िंदगी के लिए तरफ़ रहा ओ मदीने के हाज़िरी के लिए जब आके जाने वाले जाकर बारे अजब से मेरा भी किस्सा है गम कहना शहे अरब से मेरा भी किस्सा है गम कहना शहे अरब से कहना कि शाहे आलम कहना कि शाहे आलम कहना कि शाहे आलम एक रम जो गम का मारा दोनों जहां में जिसका है आप ही सहारा हालाते पुरालब से इस दम गुजर
कर रहा है और काटते लबू से पर याद कर रहा है पाए गुना अपना ये दोष पर उठाए कोई नहीं है ऐसा जो पूछने को आए भूला हुआ मुसाफिर मंजिल को ढूंढता है तारीखियों में माहे कामिल को ढूंढता है सीने में है अंधेरा दिल है सियाही खाना ये है मेरी कहानी सरकार को सुनाना कहना मेरे नबी से महरूम हो खुशी से कहना मेरे नबी से महरूम हो खुशी से सरबर कबरे गम है इसको से आकलम है पामाले जिंदगी सरकार उम्मती उम्म के रेनो माओ कुछ ऐसे हाल सुन लो फरियाद कर रहा हूँ मैं दिल फिगार कब से फरियाद कर रहा हूँ मैं दिल फिगार कब से मेरा भी किस्सा गम कहना शह अरब से हजूर सब कोई इंतजाम हो जाए हजूर सब कोई इंतजाम हो जाए सलाम के लिए हाजिर गुलाम हो जाए सहारा ये सरकार जिंदगी के लिए Subhanallah inshallah one day may Allah Taala accept his naat and may we all go Madina Munawwara you know after hajj the best time to visit Haram and Sharifain is month of Ramadan okay who's been to Madina Sharif in month of Ramadan subhanallah we were together yeah subhanallah one of the most amazing experience you will ever experience in your life is when you break your fast looking at the kaaba or the gumbad of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam okay the, the just half an hour before maghrib everyone is standing making dua crying tasbih takbir do shirk whatever they can everyone's quiet engaging dhikr of allah the mouth is dry you know you're tired it's hot yeah and then as soon as adhan happens you have that first sip of cold zamzam water subhanallah this is amazing it's beyond this world yeah and that is why there's a hadith of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam li saim farahatan for first we fast the two types of happinesses first happiness is when you break your fast you know when you have the kajur okay even in in uk okay you have the first kajur you drink that first sip of water subhanallah that satisfaction that delight the happiness is from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah and the other happiness is when those who fast in month of ramadan they will see allah subhanahu wa ta'ala jannah imagine that time when when you will be honored to see allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala take us to the jannah of this world madina sharif and inshallah together we enter the jannah of hereafter inshallah inshallah so in the next yeah i think probably easter ramadan there's a possibility if families want to go inshallah you know uh, spend a few days of the month of ramadan in in uh, in the, at the feet of the prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam subhanallah and you know there's a hadith the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is more generous his or his jawab but his judo karam increases month of ramadan okay any dua you make in madina sharif you know i can give you a lot of uh, my personal experience of Madina Sharif, you make intention and it happens, subhanAllah. This is the karma of the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Right, inshallah, now we'll have another night of Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. 
Uh, I would like to call Muhammad Hassan. Is it not? Yeah, Muhammad, inshallah, he's only 10, 9, 10, inshallah, come. And he recites not to Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa Okay, I want the young ones to do nara. Who's going to do nara? Who's going to do takbir? Anyone? Nara takbir. He's a young one, mashallah. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah. وقت عينا يا شوقا ولطيبة ظرفة شقا فأتيت إلى بيبي فهدأ يا قلب ورفقا صلي على محمد السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا حبيبي يا نبي الله يا رسول الله قلب بالحق تعلق وبغاله راتق وتعلق يا بقي صل خالقه فاتاه الوحي فاشرق اقرأ اقرأ يا محمد السلام عليك يا يا رسول الله السلام عليك يا يا نبي الله يا رسول الله محمد حسن Reading uh, not in Arabic, mashallah. Subhanallah, Allah Ta'ala accept it, inshallah. Again, inshallah, you can fire some shots at home. Subhanallah. Subhanallah, mashallah. Subhanallah. Right. Do you know time flies when you're enjoying uh, the moment? It's fine. Now we'll have another. Um, recitation of Quran, inshallah. The best not is the Quran. Okay, uh, every single letter, every single word, every verse is in praise of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Subhanallah. Yes. So for that, inshallah, I would like to call again one of the students of our hips class, Muhammad Zaid, and you heard his younger brother, Muhammad Yusuf. Uh, hopefully, they're not going to shoot each other later. I and he recite how many juz have you done? Twenty two subhanallah. Come into Sri Yasin. You've completed? They're coming to inshallah in Allah, inshallah. Inshallah the blessing of the Sri Yasin Allah make it completed for you, inshallah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذ قلنا للملائكة اشجدوا لآدم فسجدوا إلا إبليس كان من الجن ففسق عن عمر ربه أفتتكذونه وذريته أولياء مدوني وهم لكم عدو بئس للظالمين بدلا ما أشهدتهم خلق السماوات والأرض ولا خلق أنفسهم وما كنت متكذ المدلين عددا وَيَوْمَ يَقُولُ نَادُوا شُرَكَائِيَ الَّذِينَ زَعَمْتُمْ فَدْعَوْهُمْ فَلَمْ يَسْتَجِيبُوا لَهُمْ فَلَمْ يَسْتَجِيبُوا لَهُمْ وَجَعَلْنَا بَيْنَهُمْ مَوْبِقًا وَرَعَى الْمُجْرِمُونَ النَّارَ فَظَنُّوا أَنَّهُمْ مُوَاقِئُوهَا فَظَنُّوا أَنَّهُمْ مُوَاكِئُوهَا وَلَمْ يَجِدُوا أَنْهَا مَسْرِفًا وَلَقَدْ صَرَّفْنَا لِلنَّاسِ فِي هَذَا الْقُرْآنِ مِنْ كُلِّ مَثَلٍ وَكَانَ الْإِنْسَانُ أَكْفَرَ شَيْءٍ جَدَلًا صدق الله العظيم 
Who says, uh, you don't want your gift? That's fine. I'll take it. That's fine. MashaAllah. It's very difficult uh, to choose our gift for the range range, but I think uh, it'll take a lot of time. Okay. Take it, inshallah. Okay, subhanAllah. MashaAllah. Okay, let's read another Dushay. Jazallahu anna Sayyadana wa Mawlana Muhammadan sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallama ma huwa ahlu. The benefit of this Dushri, you read it once and for a thousand days, angels are appointed to write the good deeds of this Dushri. For a thousand days. Like Imam Sha'arani, the great wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it was his his uh, habit of reciting this very Dushri sharif a hundred times every single day. Jazallahu anna Sayyidina wa Mawlana Muhammadan sallallahu sallallahu wa ta'ala subhanahu wa um, now inshallah for another night of Rasul sallallahu uh, is a speech. Speech. Subhanallah. Yes. Uh, mashallah our Imam and Taraweeh Hafiz Muhammad Rayhan mashallah will come up and inshallah he is going to deliver his thought provoking speech to inspire all of us inshallah. Uh, you're going to take it. Okay, that's fine. Let's move. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, as salatu was salam, while I see Yidil Ambia, Iwan Musalin, while I add he was a big edge marine, a mabad, I would be like him in a shape on a regime, Bismillah, Rahman, Rahim, in the salat and her and in Fuksha, Iwan Munkar, Sadakallah, Rahim. All respected brothers and elders, Salam alaikum, Rahmatullah, you are Barakatu. Today I will be talking about a few benefits of praying Salah. The first one I will be talking about is God consciousness. Praying Salah increases your God consciousness. When a person prays five times a day, he becomes accustomed to feeling the presence of Allah and develops the sense that Allah is watching him at all times. He is never hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even when alone. A sense of God consciousness keeps the heart suspended between fear and hope. Fear of Allah keeps a Muslim away from the prohibited things and encourages him to do the obligatory actions. Regular performance of the prayers increases one's awareness of Allah. Another benefit of Salah is that you repent more and seek more forgiveness. We all need to constantly ask for Allah's forgiveness and try our best not to repeat our mistakes. Without regular contact with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a person is unlikely to feel guilty for his sins so they won't repent. Certain prayers in Salah reminds Muslims of their sins and makes them seek forgiveness for them. This in turn causes Muslims to feel guilty for their sins and seek repentance as soon as they commit a sin. A Muslim learns, uh, a Muslim learns to constantly seek forgiveness for his sins and never feel too distant from his Lord. Once the Prophet ﷺ asked, what do you think if, if there was a river by the door of any one of you and he bathed in it five times a day? Would there be any trace of dirt left on him? The companion replied, no trace of dirt would be left on him. The Prophet ﷺ then said, this is like the five daily prayers through which Allah erases sin. The last benefit I'll be talking about is control and discipline. The prayer has the capacity to catalyze change for the better in people's lives. The fact that we give up whatever we are doing and line up behind the Imam five times a day instills discipline in us. All the body parts in Salah are under control, obeying and worshipping Allah. And if this discipline is broken, the prayer might have to be repeated. The discipline learned in Salah is to be acquired in other aspects of religion and also in our daily life. Just as we shouldn't look around when praying, we should control our eyes outside prayer not to fall on forbidden things. Just like we use our tongue to praise Allah in Salah, outside of Salah, we should not let it backbite or lie. Just as our hands and feet perform controlled motions in Salah, outside of Salah, they shouldn't be used to steal, buy or eat what is forbidden. We should not walk towards forbidden, but away from it. This is the essence of which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us. Indeed, prayer prohibits immorality and wrongdoing. From this we can learn that Salah is very important and it has lots of benefits. 
is brings us it brings us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and prevents us from doing sin. You should ensure that you pray your namaz five times a day. MashaAllah, this was Hafiz Muhammad Rayhan, Ibn Hafiz Muhammad Usman, in month of Ramadan, Hafiz al Quran. SubhanAllah, talking about Salah and the importance of Salah. And he mentioned how many points? Salah does what? Five points? Five times namaz? God consciousness? Discipline? I'm missing middle part. Cleanliness? Forgiveness. Forgiveness and cleanliness, subhanAllah. So these are the benefits of, um, of reading Salah. So remember, Salah is for life, not for Ramadan. Yeah? So, do you know, I still remember, I prayed Salah, you won't believe this. Okay? We were in New York City. We went to drop one of my half a from Canada to the airport. On the way back, we were stuck in traffic. And it was time for Fajr, sunrise. We had to do tayammum in the car because the absolute one of the bridge we couldn't get out. And we had to pay namaz in the car on the bridge, in one of the, uh, the bridges of uh, New York. You know, so also we paid namaz in Sahara Desert. Beautiful. When in Egypt, uh, subhanAllah, uh, you go to the Sahara, full of sand. It's gay sometimes, it's nothing, it's just sand. Miles and miles of sand. Okay. But mashallah, the sun went down with adhan and uh, you know, salah on, on the sun. It was a beautiful experience, subhanAllah. You know, so salah is for life. You should, wherever you are, okay, there's rules. Some people may ask, <clears throat> you know, in a maybe a submarine, what do you do in namaz? Okay, or you're an astronaut, what do you do in namaz? Namaz is namaz, you have to pray. Okay, ulama will guide you. Okay, so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us forever and ever. Okay, until our last, they can never miss our namaz, inshallah. Say amen, inshallah. Now, inshallah, we'll have another uh, Rasul, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, inshallah, Muhammad Sajjad, uh, he'll come and he'll recite not in the court of Rasulullah, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Are they takbir? Is it not? Kirat, oh, sorry, kirat, inshallah. Not are they takbir? Not are they risalat, inshallah. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والضحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى وللآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فتعلى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والدحى والليل إذا سجى ما ودعك ربك وما قلى ولا الآخرة خير لك من الأولى ولسوف يعطيك ربك فترضى ألم يجدك يتيما فآوى ووجدك ضالا فهدى ووجدك عائلا فأغنى فأما اليتيم فلا تقحر وأما السائل فلا تنهر فأما بنعمة ربك فحدث صدق الله العظيم MashaAllah, this was Muhammad Sajjad reciting Surah Al-Duha.
and you can see Mashal been listening to uh, Egyptian Qurra, again the uh, you know the the idea from uh, the Egyptian Qurra, and I also recommend all the students, okay, listen to Egyptian Qurra, okay. There are many qaris out there, but the, in terms of the perfection, in terms of makharij, tajweed, and you know the voice and control of breath, okay, you won't find it elsewhere except in Egypt, Subhanallah. So, you know, Qari Abdul Basid al Samad, Sheikh Husseini, uh, all these Sheikh Minshawi, all these are great Qurra. Uh, so listen to them. The more you listen to Qurra, you, 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 your tune, your tajweed, your confidence will increase. Okay, and practice and practice at home, inshallah. Allah Ta'ala give us all the tawfiq, inshallah. Now we'll have another Nati Rasul, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, uh, Muhammad Faydan. This brother of Hafiz Rayhan, the son of Hafiz Usman, in the of Ramadan. Come on, different, please. Narayat Akbir. Subhanallah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Awahman, Alaman Kuran, Hanapan Insan, Alamahul Bayan, Ashamsu and Kamaru be Husaban, when the Jamu was Shadow Yasjudan, was Sama Arafaha, Wada Aliza. أن تتغوا في الميزان وأقيم الوزن بالقسط ولا تقصر الميزان والأرض ودأها للأنام فيها فاكهة والنكل ذات الأكمام والحب ذو الأصف والريحان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان خلق الإنسان من صوصان قلفق وخلق الجان من مارج من نعم فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان رب المشرقين ورب المغربين فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان مرج البحرين يلتكيان بينهما برزق لا يبغيان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يخرج منهما اللؤلؤ والمرجان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان وله الجوار المنشآت في البحر كالأعلام فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان كل من عليها فان ويبقى ويبقى وجه ربك ذو الجلال والإكرام فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يسألون ما في السماوات والأرض كل يوم هو في شأن فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان سنفرغ لكم أيها الثقلان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان يا معشر الجن والإنس إن استطعتم أن تأخذوا أن تأخذوا من أقطار السماوات والأرض فاقدوا لا تأخذون إلا بسلطان فبأي آلاء ربكما تكذبان صدق الله العظيم ما شاء الله ما شاء الله هذا سمايل 
Say Subhanallah, MashaAllah. Uh, reciting Surah Al Rahman. This was Muhammad Faizad, the brother of Hafiz Rehan, the son of Hafiz Usman. All rhyming, SubhanAllah. Okay, SubhanAllah. MashaAllah, we have another. Um, Hafiz, there's a bag of goodies outside. Come bring it for me, inshallah. Um, this is one bag we'll do. Inshallah, we'll have uh, another night of Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, inshallah. Uh, I just got this name today. Uh, Muhammad Saqib. Fazda, let's see. Oh, mashallah. Subhanahu who's going to come and recite the night of Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Nare takbir. Come on. I know you've got your gifts, but again, the same energy. Nare takbir. Nare risalat. Masjid Ibn Islam. MashaAllah. Very nice, smart looking laser. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sallallahu alayka ya Rasulallah Wa sallam alayka ya Habiballah Sallallahu alayka ya Rasulallah Wa sallam alayka ya Habiballah Te Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Tere sadke mein aaka Saare jaha ko Deed mila Me dino ne Ghalma parala Ilaha illallah Bolo ghasbi rabbi Jallallah Mama fi ghalbi Ghayrullah نور محمد صلى الله لا إله إلا الله سمت نبيب جهر گیا آقا سے اس نے ہی کہا کرخ نبیب تلا اسرا میری موتی میں ہے کیا سمت نبیب جہر گیا آقا سے اس نے ہی کہا کرخ نبی بتلا اسرا میری مٹی میں ہے کیا آقا کا فرمان ہوا عرفض رے رحمان ہوا مٹی سے خطر بولا لے الہ الا اللہ بولو حسبی ربی جل اللہ میں فی قلبی غیر اللہ نور محمد صلی اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ دنیا کے انسان سبی شرق و بطعت کرتے تھے رب کے سے بندے پھر بھی بٹ کی عبادت کرتے تھے دنیا کے انسان سبی شرق و بطعت کرتے تھے رب کے سے بندے پھر بھی بت کی عبادت کرتے تھے بت خانے سب کر رائے میری نبی ہے جب آئے کہنے لگی مخلوق خدا لا الہ الا اللہ بولو حسبی ربی جل اللہ ما فی قلبی غیر اللہ نور محمد صلی اللہ لا الہ الا اللہ اپنے بہن سے بولے عمر یہ تو بتا کیا کرتی تھی میرے آنے سے پہلے کیا چپکے چپکے پڑتی تھی اپنے بہن سے بولے عمر یہ تو بتا کیا کرتی تھی میرے آنے سے پہلے کیا 
चुप के चुप के करती थी बहन वे जब कुरान पढ़ा जुल्म के कना में बाके कुदा दिल ही उमर का बोले उतारा इलाहा इल्लाल्लाह बोलो हसबी रब्बी जल्लाल्लाह मैं फी कल्बी गैरुल्लाह उन्होंने मुहम्मद सल्लल्लाहु हुसैन दोनों हुसैन सर में पड़ेंगे अकेले चलो माशा हुसैन 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 माशा اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين اياك نعبد واياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين يا سين والقران الحكيم انك لمن المرسلين على صراط مستقيم تنزل على عزيز رحيم لتنذر قوما ما انذر اباؤهم فهم غافلون لقد هك القول ولا تعرف فهم لا يؤمنون إنا جعلنا في أعناك مأجلنا فيعلى الأذقان فهم مغمعون وجعلنا من بين أيديهم صدا ومن قلفهم صدا فاغشيناهم فهم لا يبسرون وسواء عليهم أنذرتكم أم لم تنذرهم لا يؤمنون إنما تنذر من اتبع الذكر وخشي الرحمن بالغيب فبشروا بمفرته وعجين كريم إنا نحن نهي الموتى ونكتب ما قدموا وآثارهم وكل شيء أصيناه في إمام مبين والرب لهم مثلا أصحاب القرية إذ جاء أهل المرسلون إذ أرسلنا إليه مسنين فكذبوهما فأززنا بثالث فقالوا إنا إليكم مرسلون قالوا ما أنتم إلا بشر مثلنا وما أنزل الرحمن من شيء إن أنتم إلا تكذبون قالوا ربنا يعلم إن ما إليكم المرسلون وما علينا إلا البلاغ المبين قالوا إن تطيعنا بكم لئن لم تنتهوا لنرجم أنكم يمسنكم من عذاب أليم قالوا طائركم معكم أئن ذكرتم بل أنتم قوم مصرفون وجاء من أقصى المدينة رجل يسعى قال يا قوم اتبعوا المرسلين اتبعوا من لا يسألكم أجر وهم مرتدون وما لي لا أعبد الذي فطرني وإليه ترجعون أأتكذ من دونه آية إن يرن 
الرحمن بدر لا تمنيني شفاءتهم شيئا ولا ينكذون إني ذل في ضلال مبين إني أمنت بربكم فاسمعون كيلت كل الجنة قال يا ليت قومي يعلمون بما غفر لي ربي وجل من المكرمين وما أنزلنا على قومه من بعد من جلد من السماء وما كنا موزلين إن كانت إلا سيرة ويدة فإذا هم قامدون يا هسرة على الإباد ما يأتيهم من رسول إلا كانوا به يستهزئون ألم يروا كم أهلكنا قبلهم من القرون أنهم إليهم لا يرجعون وإن كل لما جميع لدينا مقدرون صدق الله العظيم سبحان الله نعم على البيت سبحان الله سبحان الله دو سوز محمد حسين of Salim Bhai, mashallah, who is one of the Khuddam, the volunteers, mashallah, constantly. Salim Bhai, Saeed Bhai, Hafi Sahib Bhai, Zakir Bhai, Iman Bhai, all of you, mashallah, Siddiq Bhai, Kwan Bhai Bhai, all, mashallah. Allah Ta'ala, bless you all, make your children pious, inshallah. Now, inshallah, we'll end, inshallah, we'll do the sunnah, inshallah, if you go out to observe the moon, inshallah. Uh, whatever Allah, inshallah, whatever comes, inshallah, we'll do it later on. But inshallah, we'll have one share of Salatu Salam, inshallah, and then uh, you can leave, inshallah. Kwan Prega, Salatu Salam. Mustafa Jani Rahmat Tela Khu Salam Shem'e Baj Mehi Daayat Tela ہو سلام ایک میرا ہی رحمت میں دعوا نہیں شاہ کی ساری امت پہ لاکھو سلام مصطفیٰ جانے رحمت پہ لاکھو سلام شمعی بز میں بھی دائت پہ لاکھو Salatu salam alaikum rasulullah salatu salam Again, I would like to thank all of the children, the parents, mashallah, who participated. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you immensely in this world and most important in the year after, inshallah. Um, and also, inshallah, we're going to try and do these uh, events regularly, uh, hopefully, inshallah. Uh, so please, uh, when you hear the announcements, inshallah, come forward to your union, inshallah. May Allah ta'ala bless you, inshallah. الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله إن الله وملائكة يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا مولانا محمد معاذ الجود والكرم وآله وصحبه وبارك وسلم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين. Those who are motivated, if you come forward, in shallah.